Getting to space is never straightforward. But did you know how important the role of the weather is to decide if a rocket launch should be given the green light or aborted? The conditions have to be just right. And that's a big job for these weather forecasters, part of the United States Space Force. They're based in Florida near Cape Canaveral, where almost all the rocket launches in the US take place. Our role, uh, the 45th Weather Squadron, is, is pretty huge in what we do in the space industry. Um, essentially, at the Cape, nothing gets to space uh, without our support. So safety is kind of the big, the big thing here with us. BBC Weather's Simon King explains there are a number of rules that have to be passed before a mission is ready to launch. Most of these involve the type of cloud, lightning, atmospheric electricity and rainfall. Forecasters monitor the conditions around Cape Canaveral and abort sites in the build-up to liftoff, but it's not always as straightforward as it might seem. Making the right decision after looking at all that weather data is a big responsibility. I don't think we're going to get there uh, with any of the rules today. We can always stand down and, and launch another day and that's always the safest thing to do. You have the team on the radar and flying the aircraft and providing the data to you Launching through dangerous conditions is not something anybody's pushing for. The weather plays a huge part in all rocket launches. Making the right decision will keep the crew safe as they head into space. <laughs>